Hi everybody, this is Margaret from the Elk Grove Village Public Library. I'm just going to go over um, how to start when you do the loop yarn scarf and how you can end it. And I'll do a couple rows in between. So I'm going to show you how to start it just in case you've forgotten from the class. Um, so I just wanted to show to you, you're going to get yarn, it's going to be like this. And sometimes it's really nice where you have the string coming out. Um, but the one I'm going to show you today, it didn't. So I had to take out everything and then now I have my, I found one of the ends. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to cut the first loop. So kind of at the bottom, you see where it has that little bit there. Maybe it would have been better if I held it a little bit tighter because now it's even for me, it's not coming undone. There we go. So that's gonna be your little tail. You're gonna kind of keep that. And then you're gonna remember to put out eight. You wanna count out eight of these loops. I like kind of laying them down so they're all going the same way if I can get them to go that way. So it may take a couple minutes, hopefully not minutes. This may take a little while. Um, so we're gonna start this out. Just kind of let them go all kind of facing the way I'd like. So I'm going to count out eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's my eighth loop. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to take the ninth loop and that's going to come through. And what was the eighth loop? You're always coming in from the back. Same thing goes um, with the, that would be the 10th loop going into the seventh loop. It's kind of tricky this first time going through it, but it gets better with the other rows. And again, I'm just taking those loops that would be coming later after the eighth, and I'm just pulling them through one by one. And you want to make sure you don't skip a loop. Um, as I will be saying in class, if you um, skip it, the best way is to go and undo everything and start over on you know, until that wherever that last, wherever you ended up skipping a loop. So here we go. This will be now coming to my eighth one. And I pulled that through. So you kind of want to pull that over. Sometimes that helps. Then I like to go back and I pull these through. And I kind of lay them, if I can, untwist them to lay them to make them lay the way I'd like them to lay. So if you want to do that, and I just pull it through. And as I do that, I usually do, I will then go back and count them. So this is one, two, three, that might go that way, four, five, I guess that goes that way, six, seven, eight. So I've got my eight loops still. And again, I'm going to go here and I'm going to take this one and I'm going to pull it through on this. Just make sure you get the next one on that row. Pull it through and keep pulling that through. Always from the back pull it through. I think this is called a purl stitch. I'm not quite sure. And again, you want to just pull it from the back. So pretty soon I'm going to, this is my, our third row. So we've got that. Again, you pull, pull them up. Make them kind of twist the way you think they should twist. Count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you kind of look. Also, you can always check to make sure you didn't skip anything because then you got to go back and unravel. I'm going to go um, stop this and then I'm going to loop a few more of these and I'll come back and I'll show you how to end it off at the end of the scarf. Okay? Thanks. Hi there. Welcome back. Um, so we're going to pretend that I get my whole scarf done and you have about two rows left. Now we're gonna bind off just to kind of show you how to do that. 
So you're going to do the first two rows like you've been doing. You're going to go through um, the back end on the one on the first one and the second one. But this is where it kind of changes. You're going to take that second one and go through the first loop. So that's your first one. Now you're going to take what was left on that third one and you want to go back to the third um, loop that hasn't been done. And again, you're going to go through the, that first loop that you had left. So now you have one standing here. We're going to take the next one on this road, on this, I should say, row of uh, loops, and you're going to do that same thing like we've been doing, just moving it along like that. And again, you're going to do this with this one, and then that one goes with this. So we're binding this off. I know it looks a little confusing, um, but it does really look nice at the end. And again, you're going to um, go through this, and then you're going to pull it through that one that's been sticking, and then this one now is going to be sticking up. We have two more to do like this, and then this goes like this, and then we have one more, and then this one is going to go through there, and then this goes through this one. That makes sense. You have one loop staying. Now you're going to keep that loop and then you see this here and you're going to cut that loop so you have one more to kind of hang through and cut that. Then you're going to cut it right here and then um, since it has a different, it doesn't really matter. So now you're going to take that through this loop so that kind of binds it. And then you're just going to weave this in. Um, you can weave it however you want through these um, just to kind of go. So it, you might want to go through the front here, weave it like that, and then weave it one more time through. And then it should stay together like that. And then you would just have kind of off. And you're going to do the same thing with the beginning of the, your beginning tail if you had. But this otherwise, that's your bound there. Make sure, again, you don't have any um, loops hanging hang, uh, earlier. Otherwise, you would have to undo it there. That would be the best way. But I hope this makes sense. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this. And uh, good luck looping yarn. Thanks. Bye.